The following is only a guide intended as an aid in suggesting applications of the vacuum splinting system. All products are designed and intended for use by qualified rescue personnel with proper medical training. Please consult your station's protocol and the advice of your local medical director prior to use. Remove the VSB from its carrying case and unfold it. Lay it beside the patient and open up all buckles for the straps. Make certain that the handles and the pelvic strap system are in place outside the VSB, not under the VSB. Log roll, scoop, or lift the patient onto the unfolded VSB. Using a blanket or bed sheet will make the sliding of the patient easier. Place the patient so that the top line of the shoulders is in line with the top handles. Make sure that the red forehead straps are in line with the forehead. See that the patient is not placed too far up. This is a common mistake in first time users. This is a good reason to practice the rescue before an actual call. Apply the strap system in the traffic light order. A. The red forehead straps. B. The yellow chest strap. In case of suspected pelvic fractures, make sure that one of the green pelvic straps is placed over the anterior inferior iliac line between the heads of the femur and the top of the ilium bone. Close that in this position. With possible open book pelvic fractures with suspected internal bleeding, use firm strength. Then buckle the black and green cross leg straps. And finally, the black and blue cross chest straps. Ensure that the valve is closed. Apply the vacuum source and pump the air out. Make sure all air is evacuated for maximum rigidity. It's not possible to overpump. The only possible error is to underpump. While the air is being evacuated, hold the VSB, conforming it to the contours of the patient. Now the strap should be tightened. With the exception of the abdominal area, very snug straps are desirable and comfortable for the patient. When lifting the patient, lift using all handles. When rescuing a face down patient, three to four rescue personnel are ideal. Using the face down strap system makes it easier to strap the patient in a face down situation. The goal is to get the patient face up to facilitate care and transportation with an absolute minimum possible patient movement. Slide the face down straps under the shoulder, one under the waist and one under the legs. One of the two buckles should be under the patient. The rescuer at the head of the patient, whom we'll call head, directs the rescue. Head ensures that patient breathing is satisfactory. Attempt to apply a cervical collar if at all possible. Thereafter, head focuses on maintaining the position of the head as found. The designated left rescuer, left, unfolds the VSB and places it like a blanket over the patient so that even the head is covered. Close the straps tight behind the patient's back. With the aid of the other rescuers, Head changes his hand position to encompass also the VSB, thereby holding the VSB molded around the head and neck.
Firmly form the VSB around the patient while pumping the air out of the VSB. Head designates which direction the patient should best be turned. Readjust the straps and move any limb close to the body for comfort. For example, an uninjured arm, which may have been found outside the body area, reposition along the body for comfort when turning the patient. Head ensures that the red forehead straps are very snug and manually holds the patient's head in position. At the command of head, all in unison, carefully roll the patient over to the face-up position. The more hands are available to hold the body in position, the better. Buckle up the straps in the same manner as noted in the previous instructions. Once the patient is face-up, the straps can be repositioned and adjusted to a better fit. If necessary, the valve could be slightly opened, reclosed and vacuumed again, allowing for an immobilization from the face-up position. Carefully support the head neck area during the immobilization to maintain its position until the splint is once again firm. It is often our experience as rescuers that we come to the scene to find a patient who has been helped up into a chair after a fall. To immobilize this possible fracture, generally a hip fracture, number one, pull up another armless chair beside them. Place this chair beside the patient. Unfold the VSB. Place it in a chair formation where the top is approximately at the level of the top of the head or slightly above the head. Check to see that all straps and handles are on the proper side of the VSB. Check to see that the valve is closed completely. 2. Carefully lift the patient onto the chair folded VSB and close the straps around the patient.
connect the pump, and evacuate the air. Meanwhile, form the VSB around the patient. The more it is formed around the contours, the better the immobilization and support. Especially in the hip area, there should be a great attention given to support. The more snug and form the splint, the more comfortable your patient will be. The end result should look somewhat like a high back chair. Make sure to pump all the air out. It is not possible to pump too much. You will feel when the VSB is very firm. Then readjust the straps to be snug tight. Lift the patient using the handles. In patients with suspected multiple fractures and with a confirmed femur or tibia fibula, using a traction device such as a conventional traction device or a vacuum leg splint. Immobilize the patient into the VSB, securing the forehead straps, the yellow chest strap, and the black-blue cross straps. Leave the green pelvic straps and the black-green leg cross straps undone. Grab the patient's ankle Pull firm traction and apply the traction device. With the vacuum splinting technique, slide the leg splint under the leg as high up as possible. Close the straps as firmly as you can, especially over the ankle, to support the traction. Connect the vacuum pump. Apply the vacuum and in the meantime help the vacuum splint to be snug tight with your hands. Readjust the straps firmly. Apply the black green cross leg straps and the green pelvic straps. Applying the traction devices can also be done before the patient is placed onto the VSB. However, the priority must be kept to immobilize the head, spine, and pelvic region first with suspected fractures of the vertebral column or the pelvic area.